Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm spending a couple of days at Sea Rim State Park, which is in the far southeast corner of Texas, and it is one of only two state parks that are on the coast. So I'm going to show you around the park, which you might like to visit sometime. And first, I'm going to pull out my maps to show you just where this is and what the area looks like here. If you're coming from Houston, you go east to Port Arthur, and then you take Highway 87 down south, and then back west a bit. So this is Highway 87. You enter here. There's the office, and then this is the east side of the park that I showed you. And then over here on the west side is the campground. And this is where you drive out onto the beach. And this is where the boardwalk is. Now, the campground here does not have a dump station. There is another part of the park over here. There's not a campground there, but they do have a dump station. And then here is where you go in with some kind of boat that you might have or a kayak to kayak through the marshes, which go way, way up further north. Okay. So let's go taking a look around. That is the office building. Here is the restroom building. And now let me show you the campground. They have 15 RV hookup sites. Five of them are back in and the other 10 are pull through like this. Each one is 20, 30, 50 amp. And they have water faucets. There's a lot of brush around like this, high brush, but each one has a clearing beside the campsite. So I've got a wood picnic table, a fireplace, and a place to hang the fish that I catch. <laughs> Too bad I'm not a fisherman. I wish I was. I tried fishing when I was a teenager, but I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> didn't have much luck it just didn't catch on by the way they also have these grills on top if you want to do your outdoor grilling and from where I park my motorhome here I get a good view of the ocean can't see the beach but I can see the ocean oh let's look at that boat out there So I can look out my window and see the waves here. It's a nice view. Now if you're a tent camper and you just want the electricity in the water, then you can tent cap here also. And there's the dumpsters. You can see it's all paved. And at the end of the campground here is a place where you can go out to the beach so let me show you that it's a good beach at least by Texas standards <laughs> and if you want to boondock it you can boondock on the beach you have to register at the office but still you can just camp right out here on the beach they call it primitive camping I can see some vehicles going pretty far down there and you can use this park for day use as well as overnight. They charge a day use fee and a camping fee, which together is $23 a day, which is not too bad for a 50 amp hookup. And now let's go take a look at the pier. The park actually takes in this whole area here. So in addition to the beach side of the park, go across the highway 
and from here on it's a paddling trail so you have to have like a canoe or something to paddle that's all a marshy area So let's go scooting along the boardwalk. A little rough road here. <laughs> Okay, here we're coming to the end of the boardwalk. Well, from the distance, I thought that was going to be a pier going out into the water, but it's just a boardwalk to get out to the beach. I don't see any pier anywhere along here. This tells you about the kinds of fish that they have here, and this is about swimming. very hard packed sand and I see tracks where people have been driving vehicles and the beach looks like a typical Texas beach the beaches are certainly better on North Padre and South Padre Islands here's a view of the marsh land on the seaside so I'm also going to go over to the marsh side of the park and see what that looks like there is their office visitor center and I think all they sell in there is firewood and ice now I'm going to go down the road east of the visitor center over here they have that fish cleaning table and a shower for after you go swimming. This side of the park is for day use only and they have a restroom building there and a dumpster. So other than that the only thing here on this side of the park is access to the beach. There's a few people walking around there and there's a paved road going out to the beach but seems they don't want you driving out on it from here so you can only drive out onto the beach from the west end this is the park section on the north side of the highway that goes to the park and these two RVs are for park hosts or maintenance crew and then right here is the dump station. Now I'm going to go see what is down this road. Well, this is a surprise. They have a rental cabin. And I guess the alligators here do not like to be teased. <laughs> this is where you launch your boat or a canoe or something that you're going to paddle down the waterway. So if you're in the kayaking, I think you'd really like it here. In fact, there is a bunch of, I guess they're kayaks. Maybe they rent those. Well, folks, it's a nice park for the beach use, for swimming on the beach. So that's about all that's on this side of the park. So this would be a really nice place to come to play on the beach in the summer. It's kind of late fall now to be doing that. It's probably getting cold in the water and it's even getting a little chilly even though it's a bright sunny day. 
little bit of warmth. It's still kind of a chilly breeze going, which is nice, actually. So if you're in this part of Texas, you might stop by and camp here for a couple days or so. Good day, folks.